Hello everybody, it's Thum the Barbarian, and I'm here with my good friends tonight, AC Gamer, if you want to say hey. Hey guys, this is AC Gamer, and uh, we're just hanging out. I'm also here with uh, Bushido, go ahead and say hey brother. Hey, this is Bushido Bull, hanging out on the Butcher Block docks, just twiddling my thumbs, waiting on the shuttles. And we also have uh, Dude Raka, our uh, Dark Dragon, if you want to say hey brother. Deuce, the insane, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, we're also going to be uh, joined by Locan Gamer here in a little bit. Logan Bernstein Bears. Um, he's not a, he's not in the the call right now, but he will be as soon as we get our group together and get going. Um, so yeah, I mean, and I'm I, I fell off the boat and had to swim for like uh, what guys at least thirty or forty minutes. At least, man, it's a it long. It's doom, soggy bridges. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because how long were you waiting at the docks, man? You were you were waiting on the docks still, right, Bushido? Yeah, well, I just got back off the boat, and and right when the boat arrived from Ocean of Tears to Butcher Block, no shuttles, so I didn't even have a chance. But you were actually waiting over in uh, Freeport when Thum <laughs> fell off the boat, so you were actually able to get all the way over there, wait for like 20, 30 minutes for the boat to show up, uh, which still Actually, hasn't. The boat showed up from East Freeport about five minutes or so once I got there, and here comes the shuttles now. Okay, oh, so yeah, on. about thirty I minutes. I can't find the zone. What zone are you in? I'm in uh, North Freeport. <laughs> and I think you have to <laughs> get to Logan. West Freeport, right? Yeah, Is it West Freeport or East Freeport that has the docks in east, it? East, east, east. There you go. Yeah, I found the zone to east. Well, that's the one you want, man. You want to go into east. Or, I mean, west. Well, uh, then go to the exact opposite side of the zone right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's it's kind of a, you know, I never really learned Freeport myself because I never spent too much time there. But I'm sure if you just learn it, it's it's not too bad. It's probably the same as any other of the zones out there. It does have a lot of parts to it. So I probably would compare it to, like, Nariac, maybe, uh, the Dark Elf City over there because it does have, uh, you know, a lot of... A lot of sectors to it North that you can kind of get lost in. And east. They don't have a South Freeport. I wonder why. Did they used to? No, not that I'm aware of. Yeah, it's weird, man. I'm, I was driving through, uh, you know, some of the areas here in Houston, and I don't know where they got their names from, but we have a Freeport, obviously, over here next to Galveston and stuff like that. And then I was going down one of the highways here, and there's a road over here that's called, uh, what was it called, Quenos, and then there's another one called No Hill. <laughs> And I'm like, seriously, that how? What did that come out like? How old is that that street? You know, is is did somebody when they were making these games drive down whatever location they were at? Because I'm sure there's other people out there who have like Quenos as the name of a city or a town or a a street or something weird like that that they kind of incorporated, you know, some of their their game into. Do you guys have anything like that around you? Have you ever noticed that? Yeah, there's a place not far from where my father lives, uh, known as Freeport. But it's like a, a ten-person town, right? But sometimes right. it's those those ones that nobody's aware of that really, you know, drive people to like, oh, I'd use that in a book or something like that. So, and you're laughing through I'm what? East Freeport. I'm uh, I'm flirting with the high elf again. And I think she's actually <laughs> again. <laughs> and she's flirting back, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, um, actually, she's drinking sure red wine. I get on the ones <laughs> closest to the dog. It's a dude, man. From the it's dogs. a dude. That's okay. She's a cute dude. All right. Where do I go from here? The docks, man. You got to find your way to the docks. Yeah, you better hurry or you might miss the boat. Yeah, if I knew where the docks were. You just kind of have to run through. It's like 20 years since I've been here. You just got to run through and kind of hope you find one, man, because I, I couldn't tell you the the actual directions. I'm familiar with the area, and if I was there, I could kind of, you know, find my way here very quickly. But, you know, with just uh, just thinking about it in my head, I can't say take a left and a right and a left and a right, and then you're there. So I'm just going to have to stumble around and, and hope that you can find it. It is around and through a building so you're gonna have to you know go through some Look of these areas all the guards are grouped up and then um don't go the one towards where you're gonna zone into um north row but the other direction is kind of a 45 i don't know angle. which dock is i found the docks i don't okay. know which dock is which the one on the left yeah you not the one closest to uh the bar 
Seafarer's Boost. Seafarer's Boost, that sounds right. Don't go, uh, um, it's the one with the chick fishing. Okay. And usually, guys, if you ever get lost in a zone, you're trying to figure out where something is hey, as so far as, like, a zone line this. or a, uh, you know, a big, a big spot like a bank or something like that, what you could try doing, and it doesn't always work, but it will work most of the time, is just follow where everybody else is going. Usually people are either running from a zone or to a zone, and inside cities, a lot of the time they would be running to the bank. The bank is a very popular destination because people who have been out for a long time have to change up their, their coin, and I think that's another reason I love this game is it forced you to go back to town. Other games you never, I at least never have to go back to town for any reason other than to get more quests. And as soon as I get those quests, I'm out of there. And in this game, you don't even have to go to town to get the quest. You just have to be familiar with what they want you to do and where they're at. Go out and get the items, and then you can turn them in. Like, you never have to start the quest. You Yeah, you never, don't even need to do the dialogue if you know what to do. Yeah, you can just get the <laughs> items and turn them in. What's up, man? I'm trolling these guys. Why? Well, what, what are you doing, though? Uh, I'm making an emo of Dutraka picks whatever their names, pockets. Dude's like, hey... Is that really a thing? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Noob. Yeah, it's definitely not something you could do. It'd be funny if you could, man. I think probably on the red server you could. Right? Wouldn't, wouldn't that be hilarious if you were able to do that on red server? Long time ago, rogues used to be able to. Really? <clears throat> ah, see, I never played uh, PvP back in the day, so I couldn't tell you if that was uh, something they did or not. But why am I lost? Like, where's... We've gone over there. That's the big temple, right? There's only one big temple? Or is there multiple ones? I think there's only one. I don't know, but I don't see uh, Rashida Ball up here. I'm on the Butcher Block Docks. Yeah, he's one more block. zone over from you. You gotta go through... Uh, uh, actually, Ocean two more zones, yeah. Ocean of Tears. So he Shuttles just... arrived, so you're gonna wanna hustle. There's no shuttle here. I can only go as fast as the boats show up. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Don't miss the boat is what I'm saying. Yeah, make sure you, you bought your ticket ahead of time, guy. Don't want them uh, coming down there halfway hey. through and be like, hey. I'm not your guy, buddy. <laughs> I'm not your buddy, pal. <laughs> I'm not your pal, guy. <laughs> they got some nice stuff over here. People were selling some uh, some steel yeah. bracers. Yeah. The uh, oh, Lucy Blue Sea shouts, The maiden voyage has departed the outpost of Fiona Bay. Please be ready to board the shuttle shortly if you desire to make the journey to Canard. Hmm. So, still, it actually weighs a little bit more than bronze, but it's large. So, I guess if you're a uh, an ogre or something like that, you come over here and buy your still. Man, that's expensive though. Three hundred and sixty uh, piece now. Yeah, thank I you think on that that's one. way overpriced. From well, it's, it's from an NPC, so they're always going to charge more than Alcatraz. Like the bronze is worth twenty-two platinum, and geez, you can go over to unrest and on a busy night when people are over encumbered and you know it's just kind of sitting there and nobody wants to pick it up because it weighs too much. Uh, you can a lot of the time walk into a zone and get equipped right away. I know I, when I went there with my cleric, uh, I wasn't in the group for more than like. I don't know, like five minutes, maybe even less than that. People just long enough to get acquainted with some people and have them, uh, you know, get bored long enough to look at my equipment and be like, oh, okay, here's all the bronze armor I've been picking up. I almost got an entire full suit. I think I was missing, like, uh, bracers or something like that. You know, because, of course, you can have two of those. So it took a little while to get the full suit. But, man, there's so much of it over there that if you can actually wear it, if you're a small class... A small race, I should say, that's able to wear uh, small bronze. Man, unrest is the way to go. I'm just saying, man. I was having fun in unrest, man. Oh, did you? You actually got went over there and zoned, right? Yeah, I made some videos and stuff like that. Um, during the double experience weekend and stuff like that. Yeah, double experience. Gives gives me the the shivers every time I hear about it. All I can think of is zones crying out in horror and dying. Now, now it's just little ghost towns and little whispers. You can hear like needles drops inside those zones, and it's just, it's disheartening to think about that. <laughs> all the little tiny screams of all the monsters who will no longer be killed. Oh 
man. Uh, here we go again, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, man, come on. Can you you can't believe. I mean, it's just it was it was from like night and day the way it went from unrest the last time I was there when you know they did the double experience like four days in a row and then when I came back to it it was just man nobody there nobody there I'm gonna get scraped off again I guarantee it do not let that happen did you take the other boat what do you think? Uh, well the we're on a shuttle the shuttle are moving just for the double there it is there, come on don't don't do me like that come on what was that man come on, go. Come on baby come on you think people are just logging on just to do the double experience they're not playing until the next double experience? No, I think they I think they are still playing to the next double experience. The problem I have with it is they level too quickly and oh. then the zone dies because a lot of people got out oh, of like no. level twenty oh. to thirty. And so unrest was uh, it was empty and uh Mistmore was actually uh, lower on the population towards the end of that as well and it just seemed like they, they bypassed those zones or and those levels so quickly the zones actually uh, felt you know, just empty because of it. So, oh, no, but I'm, I'm sure the people four. were, I'm sure <laughs> the people were going on to higher and and bigger things, and I bet they were excited about it. Which you know, I can't fault them. Anytime they had double experience uh, weekends or weeks back in the day, I definitely, definitely took advantage of them because zoning or not zoning, but leveling is so slow in this game at the time. I just kind of wanted to get past it and you know get to you know bigger and better things. But now that I'm going through and I'm actually just enjoying the the slow progress that i'm making uh, i don't really look at double experience weekends or weeks the same way anymore so that's just me though i'm sure tons and tons of guys there's people out there are just like no keep them around they love them they don't want to see those go anywhere if, if i had my way guys and i'm sure you're gonna hate me for it i would do the exact opposite of double experience weekends <laughs> I would do like negative fifty percent experience for like yeah, a month, two a months. <laughs> no, people would love it, man. People, nah, people nah. would hate it, but they would love it nah. at the same time. They would get what? so much enjoyment, and not even realize it. Not even. You don't even have to do that because then everybody will hate you. All you got to do is wake the sleeper and leave him permanently up. Now, what does a sleeper do? Because I know he towards the end, randomly kill shots an entire zone. He really? Sleeps, dude. That's what the sleeper does. Come on, does it's he in do the, that to so the bombs as well as the players? The entire zone. How often does he do that? Once a day? Once every week? Once an hour. Once an hour? Until what? Until somebody kills him? Can he be killed? Yep. If you wake oh, him yeah. up, he can be killed. Okay, so he I've spawns. I've seen one guild uh, on Bish uh, the claws of Ashan kill him, and they had two other guilds with them, and they cheated by. Uh, Trapping him on top of the bridge to uh, in western in the western waste or so I heard, they they cheated by trapping him or cheat they they used an exploit, and that's the only way they could kill him and that's the only people on my entire server that ever killed the sleeper. Okay, so he Sorry. zones from he, like he goes to different zones. Then you can catch him in a different place. No, he just it's a western it, it's waste a is the only place. Zone, any active zone, he can randomly just bam. Yeah, but there's dead. What zone is he in? Does he teleport to different zones or what? In the in the in his own zone, I think I I can forget what the place is called. It's not the Temple of Bashan, is it? No, no. But you just said that they, they trapped him in the Western Waste. Like, how did they get him to that zone? Hey, I swung as a black uh, on right. the bridge over. See, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know if it's true or not. That's just what I was told. But way back in the day, that they they had cheated by trapping him on a bridge. It might not even been in Western Waste. But uh, they, they trapped him on a bridge, and uh, they killed him because of that. They were hiding underneath a bridge or something like that. And I think right. somebody told me it was in the Western Waste or something Hold like on. that. R real quick, uh, do I just stay on this boat? Yeah, you you missed the shuttle. It just now took off for the boat. Well, yeah, no you, crap. you're going to stay on that boat till you get to Butcher Block, and then you're going to get off and go to the other dock and get on that one, wait till the little yeah, raft show up. you're going to want to jump off before it gets to the docks because those dwarves will jump and kill you. That's true. Jump into the water, go down to the bottom, put invisibility on yourself, and then um, get as far away from that dwarf as you can. Uh, and if you can, feign death on the shuttle. So once uh, the sleeper awakens, and you kill him, does he go back to being asleep, or you just have to kill him like every week so that people don't die? He'll respawn, but he'll be asleep. Okay, so just, uh, and how do you wake him? What, what's By the key to his, that? He's got four guardians, and they're basically uh, extremely tough or something like that. I think you have to kill like one of the guardians, or guardians or four of the guardians, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so it's not done yeah. on accident. Like one guy can't run in there and do a suicide mission and be like, I'm waking him up. 
No, you you don't accidentally wake him up. Okay, so it's not gonna be like that wow guy. What was his name? The guy who just charges in the like an idiot. Jenkins? <laughs> yeah. I don't get that one. I know a lot of people love that one. I don't get it. I just see some guy who's being a jerk who's wasting so many people's time. They clearly set it up. I don't understand that's why it's so funny, but no, I just I don't no, I don't get the it. The whole the whole point of it was is these people had already been on raids multiple times, so they all knew what their job was. But then an hour and a half going through telling every single person in the raid, this is your job, this is your job, this is your job. And he finally just got bored and said, F this, Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> yeah, but then that, that makes it even worse. Like, he knew that people were taking the time to make sure everybody knew what they were doing. And oh, that might be really, really boring. Knew. Yeah, but that, that's boring for some people to sit there. But for people who are, like, brand new to raiding, that is a huge, huge thing to constantly be told what to do because they don't know. And if they made a mistake or maybe they forgot, it's a lot of, lot of information to absorb yeah, very and, quickly. And so that would have been hunky-dory if the people were new. Well, I mean, I can't say for sure what the scenario was. Maybe they were all old, like you were saying, and knew exactly what they were doing. But, you know, if yep. people put the time in, which they clearly were, and you run in and get everybody killed, then, yeah, I understand you're trying to make a point, but at, at whose expense? Basically, everybody's expense. Because now they all have to come back and all have to buff up and get back into position, and now you're wasting even more time. Oh. And the guy who was in charge isn't going to be like, okay, let me not say this again. I'm going to go through the whole spiel and make sure everybody did what they needed to do all over again. And you're just wasting everybody's time, so. That was, that killed the raid. I'm you sure know. it did, yeah, because people weren't going to, one, want to be in a raid with that guy ever again. They should have just let him run in there and get killed. Well, yeah, but a good raid will help out another player, and that's what they did. They were like, should we go in? And other people were like, yeah, let's just do it because we need to help him out. Now, if they were all jerks, they would have been like, yeah, let that idiot get killed, and then we'll go in and do what we need to do. But I would have let his well, ass die. It's just, a, it's just a wipe. I mean, wipes happen all the time. So I You mean, know how long you know. it takes for a wipe to get re uh, put back yeah, into I this know, game? Man, this game takes forever for a wipe sometimes. Okay. But I've been on raids for the wipes for many, and the resets many. So. Yeah, but <laughs> it's okay, for me anyways, it's okay when it's on accident, when it's on purpose, because yeah, some guy I mean, is being malicious. That part sucks, you know? I'm one of those. I'm one of those guys who would let him die, man. <laughs> I, I would have been like, about. <laughs> "Well, he got, we could sneak past him while he's dying." Uh, he and confused people, this. I think. You know, he ran in, and people were, and some people who weren't paying attention maybe were like, "Are we going in? Are we going? Okay, I'm going in." You know, so he'll get those people, and as other people see, other people trickle in. They're just like, "Oh, we got to go in," and like I said, you just mess up the entire thing. Obviously, that's not going to work. You know, you got to go in as a, a solid unit and be ready for it. And he just he ruined it. And, for me, some people find that funny, but in my opinion, I just find that just really disheartening just to see. Troll is all he was. Yeah, and it has like millions of views that he did that. And people actually use his name and stuff, and I'm like, no, no, don't. Yeah, do that. He, 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 yeah, but what a thing to go down in infamy with, uh, for. For being a troll, I mean, some people see it as funny. It was funny. See, there I we go, man. It didn't happen like... to you. Yeah. I was in that raid. I died. I laughed like crazy because it was just too yeah, fun. I never got that far in WoW because I just couldn't get with that game very much. I liked WoW. I played it for a while. I actually was dating a woman while I was playing that game. But uh, I don't know. It was like EverQuest. This one game right here always draws me back into it. And yeah. it's nothing against WoW at all. I mean, there's people who will probably feel the exact same way about wow years later when they're playing theirs and be like oh i wish i could go back and get that that classic experience of wow that I, I so much enjoyed you know it's just that one game that does it for you whatever that may be and this is definitely it for me man this is the yeah. one that i can i'm sitting down but i'm moving across the deck in the boat minus leisure suit larry oh those are good games which one which was your favorite all of them it's just I never played them. Funny. They were funny, man, especially as a kid. You know, like, you're not supposed to be playing games like that. You play them anyways, and they're raunchy games, guys. Well, am I supposed to get back on some, uh, some, uh, things? Or do I stay on the boat? I don't know. Is, Is it, the boat going in the right direction? where you're at and where you're going. Well, there's more, uh, more shuttles down below us. I yeah, could... you, you, you get on the shuttle, the shuttle goes out to the boat, and then you transfer over to the boat. Yeah, he's not in the no, same no, place you're I'm thinking on... of. 
Yeah, I, I went for a while and had a shovel. I don't know, man. I, I could not possibly tell you for the, the place that you're at whether no you should. Idea. But if you were sitting on those shuttles and something else showed up, then... What, what do you want? Are you on the big boat or are you on small little shuttles? On the big boat. I would stay on the big boat then. I think we're going to need a bigger boat. Because worse comes down to worse, you will go back to uh, Butcher Block and then you can just stay on the boat and come back here. And, you know, that's another 30 minutes to uh, you know, do that. But, you know, at least you're on the boat. At least you're not stuck in the water again swimming for, you know, 40 minutes and getting lost all over again. So True that. And we do apologize, guys, uh, that we're getting this lost again. We do feel very, very noobish at times because coming back to the game after being gone this long, some things are very, you know, very, very fresh in my mind. I still remember High Pass. I still remember uh, Eastern Commons and a lot of those zones. And I'm sure I remember Burning Woods because I spent uh, a little bit of time there and Corner's Castle and zones like that. But there are other zones, especially like how to get from one spot to another, that I just completely and totally space on because I'm just not familiar with those as much as I used to be. You know, because at a certain point, everybody just wants to use a teleport. You know, like I, I enjoy running, but. If a group calls you up and says, hey, man, you want to come join us over in uh, the Crystal Caverns or you want to come over here to a City of Mist, did you see him? He's on the boat with me, dude. Ah, Where sweet. You? You're heading in the right direction up, then, man. Dude? What's up, man? Well, hey, man. smurf me with a smurf and smurf. What's up? Smurf. Did I'm you die? I'm behind. Yeah, you're just one zone behind, man. I mean, one boat, right? I mean, it shouldn't take too long. Another 30, yeah. 40 minutes. Yeah, I'm inviting a liar to my group. Minutes. I mean, by the time I get there, it'll be time to go to bed. <laughs> Alara, where you at, man? Well, we play, we play pretty late, but yeah, if we can just get you here, then on the next uh, next week when we show up and, and play together, we should be able to, uh, you know, do some videos at least of us fighting. And I know i kind of just been running around, guys. There's not much I can do with my cleric other than that, but I went ahead and went down oh, into uh, full screen mode so you guys can see an un unobstructed view, no text, no nothing on the screen. Just the beautiful scenery of the town. This is a nice view right here. I would not mind recording this just with no sound uh, other than the rain and the thunder and having this as like a desktop or a screensaver or something like that. I wish I was recording. You could be, man. A shark just floated right over the front of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Buggy tonight. We jumped the boat. We jumped the shark, guys. We jumped the shark. It was an air shark. It wasn't even a land shark. It was an air shark. <laughs> well, hey, have any of you guys ever been to the Plane of Air? Yes. Uh, yeah. I, I never actually went up there back in the day, so I don't know. Do they have air sharks? No. It's just all elemental stuff, right? No, they got air uh, sharks. Oh, of course they do. He's hunting the cyclops. Who's hunting a cyclops? You guys are on a boat. Yeah, I know, but I'm passing by the Sea Fury Island, and I can see. Oh, the, you can see the guys uh, fighting. The, the ancient Cyclops. Yeah, he's probably trying to get his little thing for the J Boots quest. Yep, that, I'll be hunting there soon. That so such, many islands. Such a nice thing to get, man, but it's so hard. Like, you have to sit there and wait your turn if you manage to get into the rotation at all, and then you're not even guaranteed after like an eight, ten hour period that you're even going to get it. Like you may have to come back tomorrow and the day well, after and the I'll day after. It. Well, eventually, eventually, if you stay there long enough, you're you're bound to, uh, <laughs> with the odds, you're bound to at least see it. You may not get it, but you're bound to at least see it because somebody may steal it away from you. I've seen that happen quite a bit. People will run in there and just one-shot it and take it and run off. And, yeah, you can petition that if you've been camping in that spot, but, you know, the GMs, they got a lot of stuff to do, and they hit the ones that are the most important first. So you may be waiting a long time before you get reimbursed with that. So Sorry, long, you may. Ancient Cyclops ring is a very important ninja. It is, but at the same Nash time, ninja. at the same Way time, high. people using cheats and uh, hacks is even bigger, especially if they're affecting other game, you know, gamers who are out there on the server. And then of course they got all so those people who are coming to back to the game. Yeah, if you are, I'd never admit to it, man, because they, <laughs> they 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 take that stuff seriously. They will not. Uh, find that funny whatsoever and they may just go ahead and suspend you just uh just out of spite now i think the first offense is like 30 days suspension and then after that it's a complete and total ban of your account now you can come back of course and create a new account but that means you're gonna have to start from scratch so 
I know some people will create multiple accounts, but they can figure out who you are and, you know, what accounts you own because you're all going through the same IP. Even the people who are very, very clever, they eventually uh, figure it out because those records are on there forever. So they have the time. All they well, have to do is figure it out. Proxy. Even with the proxies, there's certain ways of doing it, but they have the, they have all the little info, you know, connected. And of course, if it takes them six months, if it takes them a year, if they figure it out, and you still have that is account it, active, uh, you'll you'll lose it. So, what's up? Is that Thune next to you? Just give me an invite. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna oh, stand next to you for last. I'm gonna stand next to you for last three you. hours, dude. Yeah, he was gonna hours. say he found you, man. Yeah, man. Three hours ago. Three hours ago. Downstairs. I don't know if it was that long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was three hours. I mean, it was two hours and eighty-nine minutes. Oh, look at that, guys! Wait, did if I say eighty-nine you, minutes? If you are evil, I guess you could use this as a way in. Cut the fish! I believe in you, Kyle. I don't know you why you bowl? would. Do you want to cut the fish on the living paste? Oh man, I probably won't even survive this this swim, but we'll see. Hopefully, oh. with any luck. Well. This sucks because the boat just left like five, ten minutes ago. So I got like a good half oh, hour. Oh, we're not going to make that, guys. we got to mm -hmm. turn around. Yeah. Can anyone they bind me at bank? These boats show up at the same time. Well, I definitely can bind them. So I think we're going to go ahead and end the videos here, guys. If you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe. Definitely helps grow the channel. I hope you guys did enjoy the little, uh, you know, exploration over this town. Not quite... Uh, as much to see here as I thought. The town's really not as big as I was hoping, so uh, the right, second half so of that video, we up, just kind of ran around. I hop off the boat right here next to the dwarves. Yep. Okay. And then I want to hop in Viz. Where we went off, then. I want to in Viz and hop onto one of those little boats that have two levels on them on the left side. And the boat is twitchy. And again, guys, thanks for watching. We will catch you next time. You need a good ticket, guys. Subscribe.